Welcome to the channel guys, it's your boy Till here and today we'll be going over the Legend Mirage. Now we're going to be touching on his abilities, skins, finishers, and also how to effectively use this character in Apex Legends. Now Mirage comes with three abilities which his passive is Encore, his tactical is Psych Out, and his ultimate is Vanishing Act. Now if you are new to Apex Legends, your passive ability happens throughout the course of the game, your tactical is manually activated and recharges with this character every 15 seconds, and your ultimate charges over time. Now he has two finishers at the moment which I believe that they're going to add to this with the battle pass and the seasons coming up, which we do now know that the first season will come in March, so be on the lookout for that. But as far as the legendary skins, I like the look and the different colors that we get in this category. Tell me if you pulled any of these so far. Now when it comes to using Mirage, I go by this statement here, you want to be felt not seen. With his psych out ability and also his vanishing act, he is the perfect legend for flanking in Apex Legends. Now in comparison to my other guide videos, we will typically go over the passive ability first, but being that Mirage's is kind of weak, we're going to go ahead and skip over that temporarily for now. But getting into his tactical ability psych out, you'll be using a hologram decoy to confuse enemies. This will allow you to be in the fight without technically being in the fight. Now when I say this, this is meaning to find flanking routes, try to get behind the enemies, and this is my strategy when it comes to using Mirage. Never attack the middle, always the sides or behind, and stay close to the action. Now the reason you want to stay close to the battle is because your tactical with this character specifically recharges every 15 seconds. This allows you the opportunity to throw out holograms constantly from different locations and different areas within the flow of battle. Also, staying close to the action makes it more believable that you are actually pushing when you send out a decoy when it's close and a lot of fire is going on around you. So when using this ability, try to coordinate as much as possible with your teammates, rather that's information that you need to know about where enemies are or what direction you guys are planning on pushing. That way you can go the complete opposite because the more information you know, the better the flanking route that you can create for yourself when you're trying to send out your decoys and make the best play possible. Now, this goes back to my point about information. You want to demand as much information as possible from your teammates when it comes to pinging locations where enemies are or what route they're planning on pushing. This will make your role a lot easier on the team because you'll know exact directions of where you can send your decoy and also the possible outcomes of where you can flank after knowing that information. Now at this point in the guide, you should be able to tell that it's not about the ability, but about who is using it. And of course, you can always use Mirage as a frontal assault as well, especially if you have cover that you can use. In this specific situation here, it was a 1v3 situation. Both of my teammates went down and I decided to just do damage, but use my cover as much as possible, throwing out decoys in order to move the enemies in certain directions. That way I can take advantage of it. So if you're gonna be a frontal assault Mirage, that is my biggest advice to you is try to move any of the enemies in a certain direction with your decoy. That way you actually have a chance to single out at least one person and take advantage of at least one one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Now touching on Mirage's passive ability Encore, the unfortunate part about this ability is that it only activates when you're knocked down. Now what it does is it throws up a cloak while you're already knocked for five seconds and it brings up a decoy. Now in my opinion, the passive ability could have been a lot better and even tied to the decoy that he used in Psych Out. They could have tied it together as in if somebody shoots at the decoy, it temporarily reveals that enemy's location but not the whole team. That could have been a small example of what they could have done with the passive ability, but to have an ability that only activates after you get knocked kind of prevents the inevitable and also takes no skill because the only thing it's doing is throwing up a decoy and a cloak and it's just unfortunate that it's just kind of slowing the time on your death. Now this is when I come to you in the comment section. Let me know what would you replace Mirage's passive with in order to try to make him a better legend or just to take away that lame passive ability. But now let's get into his third and final ability which is Vanishing Act which is his ultimate. In this ultimate he deploys 6 decoys to distract enemies while you cloak. Now I put the cloak on a stopwatch and I got it around 6.21 seconds. Now that's from the time that it actually activates to the time that it ends. So you got around 6 seconds once you actually hit your ultimate before it starts fading back in. But I would use this to get out of heavy gunfight situations to reset the battle in your favor. 
So I told you about those situations earlier that you need to be able to flank and not necessarily be right in the middle of a fight in order to use this character. This is the ultimate ability that I believe that'll help you get out of those terrible situations where it may be three on one or two on one. You can instantly drop your ult and get out of those situations quickly and reset the battle in your favor. But the unfortunate part is that you have six seconds, so you don't have much time to think in order to act on that ability. Now, another way to use your ultimate is to pair it with your tactical. If your teammates give you all of the information possible that you know where an enemy may be, and it's the perfect timing for you to have your ultimate and your tactical available to you, go ahead and send a decoy in the direction of that enemy that you know you can single out by themselves, then pop your ultimate and appear literally either on top of them or right behind them and get an easy clap to help your team out. But the weapons that I would go with with Mirage would be high damage close range weapons, rather it be a shoddy SMG combo, a LMG and a shoddy, or an LMG and SMG. And the reason I say high damage is because the second you get on somebody, you wanna be able to put as much of a clip into somebody as fast as possible, because they're gonna turn around and realize you're there, and you don't wanna be in a situation where if you are behind enemy lines, where you have weapons that can't handle the business of potentially taking out two or more people at a time, and also having the weapons that can hold you off until your teammates can catch up to you. So with that being said, Mirage is a very valuable character in the game but the problem is is that his abilities aren't technically strong it's about the user that actually has the ability and how they use them so let me know in the comment section how do you guys use mirage when it comes to playing him in apex legends and also guys let's start a forum in the comment section for new people that are trying to pick up this game and actually learn how to use this character so if you are an expert at mirage or if you're just somebody who has pretty good gameplays with them Leave some feedback, leave some tips, and let others know how they could better use this character. That way, overall, if we run into any Mirages out there on the field, they actually know what they're doing. But if you made it to this point in the video, my people, I want to say thank you to you guys. We recently hit 40k in the house, and hey, that's all thankful to the Apex Legends community and you guys stopping by, showing love and support. I truly appreciate it, and hey, we in the house. You are the Apex Champions.